Hi everyone, in this video we'll be creating our first MCP project. First step you need to take is to download Cloud for Desktop. After downloading and installing Cloud, you need to create an account and log in. Once you're logged in, you will see this Cloud dashboard. The next step that you need to take is to open Terminal and paste this command. Press Enter. And now it's time to paste this. And now just press Ctrl and X, then Y, and then Enter. And let's quit Cloud and reopen it. Now Cloud is reopening and you can see this new icon here. Two MCP tools are available. The next step is to go to any of these reference servers and start installing them. Because I'm an SEO, I would like to showcase a project that will help SEOs a lot. So my suggested MCP is Puppeteer. Just paste this prompt here and ask Cloud to install this. You can see Puppeteer is successfully installed and now I need to restart Cloud. Whenever you install a new MCP, you need to quit and reopen Cloud. And now you can see we have nine MCP tools available. In this sample project, I want to ask Cloud to go to a specific URL and run an SEO audit and then show me their output as a report. So I will write my prompt now. Now my prompt is ready and I will just press enter. And as you can see, Puppeteer is opening a browser and just taking the next steps that it needs to. And sometimes I need to just allow it to do some stuff. You can see now it's getting the heading structure. Now you can see the MCP is working on a page and taking the next steps and preparing the report. If you really like this type of videos, let me know in the comments and I will definitely create more videos about different MCPs. But let's take a quick look at the report that is prepared by Claude. So we have the SEO audit report that focuses on metadata analysis. And you, you can see exactly the title, meta description, canonical URL larger, open graph implementation is checked, and all of the issues and suggestions are here. Then we're seeing what's happening with the overall heading structure. You can see we have, for example, two H1s and some issues that might need to be addressed. All of them are audited and suggestions are prepared. I think this is really helpful and can assist SEOs in their work and can save us a lot of time. Now let's do another test. Now you can see it's using React to visualize the overall heading structure of that specific page. Okay, now we have a full heading structure analysis. This is a really great dashboard, I think. And as you can see, we have a summary at top, you know, and some of the issues that exist here and all of the H1s, H2s. So for example, the issue is that this one is all caps. This one is marketing focused, not descriptive. I think it's really doing a great job. With some of them, it says there's no issues. And H4s, H5 and X6, they're not there. And then we have recommended heading structure as well. So instead of the existing heading structure, we have a new heading structure now. If this video is helpful, please like it. Thank you.